one most dangerous swordly common action that a Christian should avoid. Instead of partaking in this type of curious of worldly spiritual activity, do this instead. One most dangerous spiritual work a Christian should not partake in. By God's grace, in today's video, I wish to share with you some common practices that people easily involve themselves in that you, who is a Christian, should never partake in. In as much as we are doing spiritual work, freedom is not free enough. There is limitations and there must be caution to these acts if you still want to make it to the feet of the master and the make it to heaven because by god's grace my mission is not just to teach you spiritual work you become overcomer and then get everything you want but to also be sure that a church with your spot or wrinkle is raptured for christ if only you follow me to the end of today's video i will share one most dangerous spiritual work a christian should not partake in but before then, please give this video a thumbs up so that YouTube algorithm will shift it to other people that need it. So do so, may God bless you. Welcome back to Jenny Action TV. In this particular channel, I discuss three important variables which are actually health, safety, and, and spirituality. In this channel, we pray strategic prayers. We read the word of God in and out. We believe in balance. That is why we do spiritual work because actually the Bible said, faith with your work is dead. So if this is the very first time you're finding yourself in this beautiful family, you are highly welcome. Please kindly hit the red subscribe button and the bell notification so as to always get my next upload. For my returning subscribers, I love you so much. Thank you for always stopping by. So without wasting time, let's dive in. Number one worldly spiritual activity that a child of God that want to make heaven should never involve yourself in is what I call sorcery. Involvement in occultic practice. In order to bring it close, one of the reasons why I wanted to make this video is that I've encountered sometimes when people will deliberately walk themselves into error and they will shut me up to expose instantly what is the cause of the issue? There is a saying that open rebuke is better than simply love. Imagine that somebody shattered you online and now said, let you start online relationship. Along the line, say you should that you should snap your melon and send to him. And the, the lady now snap and sent. And at the end of the day, since that day, according to her, the melons has, has been paining her. And uh, she noticed that. The, Everything she's doing is too still, and above all, she lost her job. And then she now chatted me, sent the picture of the man that I should venture into the life of the man to know who the man is. My dear, Bible said in the book of Galatians 6 verse 7, Be not deceived, God is not mocked. Whatever any man sow, he or she will reap. How can you snap your half nude and send to a stranger you know nothing about? Do you need any prophet to actually tell you that your destiny has been used? And then suddenly you lost your job and you are coming to Jenny Action TV to do sorcery for you because that is exactly what you are sending me to. That is, by the way, the main reason why I decided to do this is because I've encountered one or two of such. My dear, in as much as I am teaching you spiritual work, I am doing spiritual work. There is a limitation for me to, un to make you to understand this very well. Let's look at Deuteronomy 18, 10 to 12. There shall not be found among you anyone that maketh his son or daughter to pass through the fire or that use a divination or an observer of times or an enchanter or a wish or a shaman or a consulter with familiar spirits or wizard or necromancer for all that do this are an abomination unto the Lord. Because of this abomination, the Lord thy God driveth them out from before thee. What is this implying? There is limit to the things you do in the name of spiritual work. In as much as we use natural items to reveal certain things, based on the fact that we know that those ones we see practical God using natural things to do extraordinary means, like Moses for him to deliver the children of Israel, like God used what he have in his hand, you notice that, that when you go to number 17, you discover that for then to discover who God has a kind of chosen as a priest, Aaron's staff have to burn. Even when Jesus was born, born according to Matthew 2, 1 to 12, it was the star that was noticed in heaven that actually showed a sign that he was born, that a great person has been given birth to, and that was what led the wise men to be able to discover him easily. And you also notice that 
if you go to Judges 6, 36 to 40, Gideon actually used fleas and wool to also discover if God is leading him one way or the other to go to a kind of war or not, or whether they win in that war. Likewise, you see us using onions, garlic, salt, and other natural things to expose extraordinary things, wrapping it with hanky, because even in the Bible, we see the hankies of the apostles healing sicknesses. We use natural things to do extraordinary things. But my dear, I'm telling you there is a limit. That does not mean that you will, you will go through a wish or a other means that is not natural trying to discover something. For instance, I, I know somebody that lost a brother. And that is why I used to tell you that the native language of the devil is lies. Actually, quite all right, she came to me. I gave her like assurance, praying for her too, believing that the brother would be found. But she was not satisfied. She started visiting different places. Then, because each time I'll see her, I'll ask her how far, she will tell me where she had visited, look at the response. She visited first place, they used Miro to discover. Surprisingly, they, tell her, they told her that the person is far away, so, so, so location. Visited another place, they give her a different, like four different places, all of them we are giving different direction. I laugh in my mind, I say, you see it, going to those places, they will use Miro to search and you are looking, watching through the Miro and other extra sensory means that is not natural and you are sure that these people are using curious means occultic means witchcraft means to discover something is ungodly and you it is you are not supposed to partake in it do you know that the most important thing in our lives is actually to get a solution not about finding out who is responsible or who is not responsible because sometimes when you find that your problem becomes small because when those people fighting you actually knows that you know they will fight you more there was a time my own sister the husband got missing we didn't i become more curious where he is we all embarked on prayer fasting praying all through the night i never knew that the miracle of paul and silas can replicate itself do you know that the miracle of Paul and Silas actually replicated itself? How did it happen? The people that kidnapped him, the, ch the chain broke away and fall off the ground. And lo and behold, those people holding him captive, they all fall asleep. He immediately saw that that particular chain and the padlock has broken from his hands and leg. He now used, he was going to market to trade when this thing happened. He now a kind of tiptoed to move over them then open the door even the door that is locked he still managed to open it and yet none of them wake up and then rush out in the midnight around 2 a.m and lo and behold when you get to park in that particular location lo and behold as god may have it there was a kind of driver that is already there who said that he, he wanted to go and sleep that something is disturbing him that he should just go to park and sleep in the park inside his car that's how he boarded the driver and took him back to his house and he was rescued no it was later find out that it's his own friend that actually masterminded the whole thing so what am i telling you you don't need to go to those curious and evil places to discover something all you need is a solution pray to god god will give you and when you use the natural things we normally use onions garlic salt and others to try to find something and god did not show you have a reason don't go beyond that now what is important to you is actually to get solution to your problem now if you have a serious problem that is making you to go extraordinary means like the person trying to go to where they will use mirror to search where his brother or relative that has been kidnapped is or maybe you have a, an attack you now want to by all means to find out if the person is evil like that person that went and snapped herself half nude and sent a man and now she constantly come to my a kind of private whatsapp to come and complain her breast is paining her that uh, she had lost her job everything turned upside down since her encounter with this man and she's sending me a picture to discover if the man is evil or not and by the way the picture you are even sending me if the man is evil are you sure is this real picture somebody can upload anything on internet and that is a kind of really mean to sorcery i don't do sorcery here now instead of doing that like one of the reasons why i also wish to make this video is one of um, our subscriber here too 
I feel for her that uh, this a kind of lost the son in mysterious circumstance and has been digging what is the cause of the death of that boy. Now, instead of trying by all means using any means to the extent you now go and do sorcery, consult through a witch doctor, practice occult activities, because we are Christians, we are spiritual beings. Once you start going beyond boundary, you will feel it. Your conscience will start pricking you. Except you don't have Holy Spirit, except you don't have a guardian angel. Now, instead of going through that extrasensory means, curious means, that involve witchcraft activities, that involve occult practice, that Bible condemn in book of Deuteronomy 10 to 12, all you need to do is, the most important thing to you is to get a solution to your problem, is to find out, is for God to use his hand to expose disgrace and bring such person to confess. This is one spiritual work you can actually do and God will use his hand to expose and bring those people to their needs. The, what are the things you need for that this particular spiritual way? You need an a red onions, those ones that when you are cutting it, you are shedding tears. Then you need a lemon, then you need salt, kitchen salt precisely because that is what everybody eats. And then you actually need a chili pepper. I told you that this is the best pepper for spiritual work, but grinded into powder. Of course, you need red beak or black beak and a piece of pepper. You will tear around from A4 pepper so that the energy of the, of the producer is no longer there, but your own energy. And then you need a container that is not basically plastic, but to an extent it is not bottle. Something like this Bama, this mayonnaise container. And then when you get it, you now use that piece of pepper like this. Then you tear it out in such a way that you have removed the energy. Tear it around the energy of the producer. Get this black or red beak and write that particular situation. For example, that you write the name of that your son, oh God, the creator of the universe. I want to know the mystery surrounding the disappearance of this my son, so 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 name that whosoever that is behind it or that that is behind the death of this my son or behind you know that particular thing that you want it to be exposed or who's, what that whatsoever this man has done to me like that particular lady coming to my whatsapp to disturb me that let him undo it or this will happen depends on what you want then for example that particular uh, mommy if you know the names of the people that we are dear uh, when your son died and all of them deny you can write the names and declare that if any one of them is among those that killed this my son god exposed through this particular spiritual work so what is the spiritual work now get this container fill it with water and then put a spoon of salt and then cut this onions into four and then drop it then get this particular lemon slice it into four drop it inside and then get this grinded pepper and pour it carry that particular intention you wrote and put inside here then shake it and begin to pray and so god the creator of the universe that whosoever is behind that particular scenario as so dissolve in the water that is how this person will dissolve nothing is doing will work until he confessed that as this pepper pepper that this is how he'll be feeling pepper all over his body until he has confessed that with this onions that let that person, that particular person confess or the, everything it does will end in tears. And above all, that as lemon is sour, let everything about this particular person's life become sour. That there is nothing you will do now that you will understand himself until he has confessed. Uh, or you now add until he has confessed or die or confess or whatever your intention. Then when you have prayed very well, carry this particular plastic and go and put it in the freezer for complete 21 days and declare that this is how you are, I freeze and put your life stand still until you confess and undo what is done or if you don't have freezer you put it close to fire any source of fire you have maybe that's in your kitchen gas stove any source as you are cooking and doing something so let the fire be hitting that particular container and declare that this is how this person will be on fire until he has confessed by god's grace before to that 21 even seven days self the person will not get himself going up and down and then anywhere he goes they will tell him look at what you did you need to confess or you will go 
by God's grace, the person will confess. So that is the easiest way instead of going through any form of sorcery or, or curious means that is beyond natural to get any information, it is bad. So please, if you have not subscribed to this channel, kindly subscribe to the bell notification so as to get my next upload. Comment on this video, share it to everyone and God bless you as to do so. With this, I've come to the end of today's video.